Hello and welcome to one of my first videos on uh, helping teachers do all this streaming and recording and all the e-learning stuff that we're going to be having to do over the next few months. Um, at my school, uh, we're trying to do something called webinar. We were supposed to meet, well, we met up on Friday. Um, those who were in school anyway. And unfortunately, webinar wasn't working. Um, though um, there is a meeting again this morning, um, Monday, as I'm saying this, there is a meeting this morning to see if we can get it working again. Um, so what I'm doing in the meantime is just making some videos to help teachers figure out how to do basic sort of e-learning stuff, including uh, uploading to YouTube. Now, when webinar softwares are working, then there'll be no need for the YouTube bit. Um, but this is uh, this software that you can see on my screen now is called OBS, OBS, um, and that is quite helpful for recording videos. So it may be that you record videos to go up on YouTube, or if your school is providing some sort of uh, software or online platform for you to load videos onto this can be used to load videos onto that as well so what you can see on the screen at the minute is actually a screen grab of what is on my screen right now and as you can see uh, just here that is uh, the audio mixer so if you start doing a recording and there is not a little thing going up and down there that means nobody can hear you as i found out the hard way when trying to live stream to my year 13s so uh, what I'm going to do is just show you where to get OBS from and just a very quick few steps of how it works. So um, if you go to your internet browser, again, any of your browser is available. I tend to prefer Google Chrome, but whatever suits you. Uh, and type in OBS Studio. And here it is, OBS Open Broadcaster Software. Click it. Whatever software that you are on, whichever uh, sorry operating system, and there you go. You click it and it downloads it. Simple as that. Um, I'm not going to do that right now because mine's already got it installed. So let's just cancel that there because I've already got it installed. Uh, as it says here, it is free. Um, and you can use it for video recording and live streaming. For now, I'm just going to talk about video recording. Uh, I may do another video on live streaming another time. Okay, so you install it, do all of the, the general sort of running installation stuff that you usually do. And when you open it the first time, this is what it looks like. Now, there might not be anything here. Um, it usually tends to be blank. Uh, obviously, I'm recording using OBS right now, so I haven't been able to leave it blank for you. So um, when you are doing your recording, you need to have some sort of source of data. So what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to leave the audio on, but I'm going to delete display capture. So at the minute on your screen, it should be completely black. What I want to do is make it possible for you to see that. And the way I do that is I just put a little plus here and that gives all sorts of different options that you can use uh, to come up on your screen. So display capture, uh, create new display capture and it shows you where it will be. Uh, I do believe it is possible to have two displays running at the same time. Uh, if you have some sort of crazy hookup when you've got multiple screens, you can select which screen there. Um, I've just got my little laptop, so <laughs> that's all I do there. Um, and I like to leave capture cursor on because then uh, if you are demonstrating something, something to the students, you can sort of show them the cursor quite easily and it's you can use it to highlight certain sections and stuff. So click OK. Great. There we go. We've got our display capture. I'm just going to remove that one because I don't obviously need an extra one there. Now you can see the edge of these box keeps going uh, blue. That's because if you like, you can minimize that section. So that's only part of your screen. So you might want to have another input of uh, ooh, browser and log in any browser that you want there. Um, I've never bothered doing with that one, so I don't even know why I bothered showing it you. Uh, but what you might like to do, I know some people are not keen on this. You do not have to do this, um, but I don't mind. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get a video capture device, add existing, and there we go. Hiya. Uh, so you can hit 
uh, whatever input source you have got, I've got a little uh, webcam at the top of my laptop just readily installed, or you can get uh, a USB one as well. This one was, I think, four quid from Curry's. Um, obviously, other brands are available. Um, they're easy to hook up. So you click whichever one you want it to be. Uh, there's different settings here where if it's not coming up quite right, you can click on configure video and it should sort itself out. Um, and these are the settings that I've just sort of left it on. They were the default settings. So I've just left it as that. Click OK. And there we go. So here's my just what I can see on my computer screen. Uh, but then what you can do is if you want a section where you don't even have the display capture, if it's just you, blah, 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 I'm teaching about X, Y, Z, uh, you can have yourself up there. Um, let's get my display capture back on. Yeah, there we go. Um, so what some YouTubers do, which you might have seen before if you are keen on YouTube or any sort of media, uh, you can have something like that where there's two things on at the same time. Uh, bah, 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 bah. Hmm. There was a way to get this to the front and I've forgotten how to do it now. That's helpful, isn't it? Order, move to top. There it is. So if you wanted your screen there, you're up there in the top left corner or the top or the top right corner if you so wish now at this point what i can do is if i minimize the software uh you can still see my face um i can't see you in any way all i'm looking at right now is my desktop and within that you can uh get yourself a powerpoint open here we go here's here's one of mr bateson's uh, and you can use the PowerPoint in the usual way that you do it, pressing spacebar or, or clicking to go on to the next slide. Uh, when I was demonstrating how to use this to Mr. B, uh, what I did is I showed him these tools on the bottom left. This is something that is inbuilt with PowerPoint already, uh, so you can have a sort of laser pointer to point things out, or if there are certain things that you do want to bring to the kid's attention, maybe highlight it in yellow or oh, something very important. This lesson is the Hardy Weinberg principle, whatever that may be. Uh, but then equally, you've got the pen. So you can change that however you see fit. It is quite tricky uh, to write neatly with this especially if you're rushing like I am now, but there we go. Mr. B is lovely, great. Uh, so that is uh, just the basics there. Um, you can use PowerPoint, um, you can use Word documents, you can use other browsers. Um, in theory, you can put a video in a video. Uh, if you are doing that, just be careful of copyright infringement. You don't wanna be putting up something that uh, somebody has legal rights to, uh, and then you get prosecuted. I'd like to think nobody would do that, but you never flip in now. Uh, so here we go, all sorts of bits here. Uh, what else can I show you? Uh, here I've got a little thing that says uh, encoding's a bit too high maintenance or whatever it said. Um, you can manipulate the settings a little bit to suit that a bit better. And the big way that we do this is through the settings. So on the settings, you can see here, there's absolutely loads of different things that you could uh, highlight, sort, play with, all that sort of stuff. Um, Again, I'm just going to show you the key bits that I've been using. Uh, streaming, again, I'm not talking about stream right now, but if you did want to do that, that's where you go streaming. Um, output, this is where you can change your video output. Um, those of you massively into computers, um, then you'll know what all this means. For those of you not, don't worry about it. Um, what you can do is just turn it down a bit if it's not particularly working. So like audio, this is obviously the sound, video, uh, turn it down a bit if it's not working particularly well. Where you're recording it to is just here. So you might want to choose a specific location to which you're going to save it. 
Um, audio, again, I don't really play with this. Uh, video, don't really play with that too much. This I do play with a lot, and this has actually caused me loads of flipping issues, actually. So what you can do within this, if you want a specific button to do something, so very, very quickly to save you scrolling up and down all the different menus, um, you can have a quick key to do that. So what I did when I first started doing these was I had my recording, in fact, I'll do a stream here because it'll, it'll screw with the recording if I do it. If I put space and space. So what I did is whenever I wanted to uh, stop a stream or start a live stream, I'd press the space bar. Left my hands free because then I could do blah, 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 teaching all the stuff that I needed to. Um, but then I ended up typing in some documents and every time I press space, it started and stopped the stream. So then I thought, oh, OK, that's clearly not working. I'll change the button. I'll make it something like uh, number one. And then, yeah, you, you've probably guessed it already. Then I ended up typing some numbers in and it, it broke it again. Um, so if you are going to use this hotkey sort of business, make it a button that you can guarantee that you're not going to use. For example, right at the very top here on the keyboard, uh, there's the home that's above the number pad. As far as I know, most people don't tend to use that home button. So it's there, it's up, it's out of the way. Within that as well, uh, if you have got a few different uh, options set up of what you want people to see, um, you can put hotkeys there to change what is and isn't happening. So if I wanted to mute myself, I could have a special button for that. Uh, there we go. Oh, no, nope, escape's not working. Oh, there we go. If I wanted number one, I just press number one there. So anytime I press number one in the recording or in the live stream, um, it will mute me if I press number one which again, might be a good thing. Um, but if you're typing in numbers and you want to be heard, uh, you better choose something a bit more sensible than that. Um, that'll do for the settings for now. The save button is actually down here, but for me, it always ends up being below, um, well, in, in the taskbar at the bottom of the screen, that's what we call that bit at the bottom there. Uh, so I just click exit and then click save. I'm not going to at this point because I don't want to screw with the stream that I'm doing, with the video that I'm doing right now. Uh, nope, I do not want to say that. What I do want to show you is this idea of scenes. Now, scenes are useful when you want to switch quickly between, let's say, your face uh, and a sort of whatever's on your screen or a specific document or a specific input. So what I tend to do is, so you add a screen here, you give it a name, uh, let's go intro card. There we go. Uh, that has put it on intro card. You can't obviously see it on my screen at the minute. Um, so what I'm going to do in my intro card, I will put my screen capture just so you can see what I am doing. Uh, display capture, add existing display capture. Yay. There we are. Uh, order. Move to the bottom. There we go. Uh, so in my intro card here, I've got all these different sources here and I might just want to put instead of uh, all that, I might just want an image. So add image, browse, uh, blah, blah, blah. here we go, pictures, YouTube, There, I can have that as the entire screen and just leave that loading on intro card until I'm actually ready to set it to going. So I might go from that intro card as a full screen, uh, set myself up a hotkey of if I press plus, it goes back to just what my screen is. And there we go. That is done that. So intro card, screen, which you can set that up to do that via buttons. Um, once you have finished videoing whatever you want to video, um, what I would do at that point is click stop recording. I'm not going to do that right now because it will stop this recording. Um, and that will save it wherever you've said to, to save it. Um, so that is a very quick, very shoddy and potentially not particularly professional looking, um, but that's a very quick, quick look around uh, the OBS software and roughly how to use it. Um, big piece of advice for, for doing this, um, be careful with your hotkeys. If you set them up wrong, it screws things over massively. Um, like yesterday morning I made about, was it yesterday morning? 
Friday. On Friday, I made quite a few different videos um, and they took me ages because I, as I said before, I'd set up the space bar as a hotkey and that didn't work particularly well. Um, other advice, uh, always make sure you have got this bit showing here, the audio input. If the audio input is not going up and down like that, people won't be able to hear you. Um, and save your files as something sensible. That's pretty much it. Okay, um, that is the video. If you have any questions, please do send me a message. I am not an expert at this. Um, I'm learning the hard way <laughs> how to do it. Um, my next video is going to be how to take it from this stage to actually uploading on YouTube. So if you are going onto YouTube, check that next video out. Uh, if you're not, then don't worry about it. It's all good. Okay, that's it for today. Ladies, gents, girls, boys and others, however you choose to identify. Bye. What was that hot key again?